Well, worries now fill a small Missouri community after learning its elementary school sits on a site contaminated by World War II weapons production. The school decided last night to shutter its doors after parents pleaded with officials that safety must come first for students. Our Nick Smith has more on that story. Nick? And Mitch, I don't need to tell you and Kelly that that anger has really started to bubble over. Environmental investigation consultants say they found troubling amounts of radio radioactive waste near an elementary school in a suburb of St. Louis. Jana Elementary School is home to more than 400 students covering pre-K through the fifth grade. The contamination stems back to 1942 when atomic bombs were made in the area. Now, samples collected in August from the school's library, kitchen, classroom, fields, and playgrounds all come back at unacceptable high levels. The report, funded by legal firms involved in a class action lawsuit, states that a significant remedial program will be required to bring conditions at the school in line with expectations. Now, parents are asking, how did the the toxins get inside the school, and some are linking their family's illnesses to diseases and deaths that they're finding. Is the doctor saying that these uh, problems he's having related to anything here, yeah, we're moving him to another school. Okay, now here's what we know now. Based on that report, chemical waste was dumped at various sites near the St. Louis uh, Lambert International Airport. Now, more specifically, a creek which connects to the Missouri River, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers had actively been cleaning the creek for more than 20 years. Still to this day, whenever there's flooding, people's homes and basements get recontaminated, and the lawyers involved in the case are suing the chemical company directly. Mitch Kelly? Just an incredibly startling story, Nick, and that's why we're going to go a little bit deeper on it. We welcome now Jana Elementary School PTA President Ashley Bernaugh. Ashley, thank you for joining us. Just incredibly concerning. Uh, the first thing I want to hear about is something uh, that Nick had in his story. It was an interview with a woman who said that, yeah, weird, you know, illnesses, uh, deaths in families, those have been happening. Uh, I want to get this from you, though. You're the PTA president. Have kids been more sick there? Have parents been more sick uh, and nobody knows why? Is that sort of going on there or, or are the impacts maybe not that deeply felt? Well, what, uh, but thank you so much for, for having me on this morning. Um, I do think it's important to distinguish um, what's going on at Jan Elementary. Jan Elementary has had um, historically low level radiation, uh, which is mixed with Doyle, CERT, I'm sorry, dirt and soil um, throughout the area. And in that process, that can delay those kinds of health impacts. And so no, to the best of my knowledge, and of course, I'm not a health um, expert, um, nor my disclosed health reports, um, nor should I be. But to the best of our knowledge, we don't necessarily know that there are youth ill, but in our community, the CDC's ATSDR report in 2019 identifies illness in our community, um, identifying cancer clusters and other kinds of illness that um, permeate our, our North County community. So we know the impacts are real, but the pathways for contamination are still being understood. And Jana Elementary is the most recent understood pathway for folks to be contaminated and and impacted by radioactive contamination. So maybe this report didn't come as a surprise to you as much as it did to a lot of us who don't live in that area. Is this something that people in the area are aware of? Parents that send their kids to that school are aware of? No. Um, no. I mean, hands down, hands down, no. We were not made aware. Um, it was only after um, multiple attempts, multiple attempts at transparency from the Department of Energy and the Army Corps of Engineers was I even able to re obtain reports that show testing occurring on our Jana Elementary School property. We still have uh, difficulty receiving those kinds of test results that depict what levels of thorium, radium and uranium uh, remain on our school property. Um, only after multiple FOIAs from multiple organizations, organizations like Missouri Coalition for the Environment and uh, community organizations like Just Moms STL, who have been instrumental in helping us decipher these uh, reports, were we even able to, to fully understand the ramifications of uh, what Coldwater Creek did to Jana Elementary School. Well, so where do you go after this, though? What happens next? Now you know. What do you do next? Well, um, 
the school board has um, declared our school to close and that our kids will learn virtually. This is not an acceptable option. The other um, next semester, they also would like to redistrict us and keep our, our school closed. Again, not an acceptable option. Um, we believe a school building does not have to be the end all be all. We can absolutely have a school community in a different school building, and that's what we are asking for. Um, our kids have just come off uh, virtual learning from having a pandemic. They were back in school. Many of them have educational gains to uh, to to fix, and so we can't afford um, our kids' education to suffer any further. These kids are already, um, I mean, I don't want to say traumatized, but traumatized by or will be when they find out this news this morning. It's unfair to them and no one is really looking at what the kids need right now. And so the Jana Elementary PTA really needs um, all adults to help us secure solutions that are, are really keeping the kids in mind, redistricting, ripping them from the teachers, ripping them from the friends they've known since diaper days and daycare um, is not an acceptable solution. And so we, we are still asking for the nation's support at Jana Elementary. Um, our Jana Elementary is a is a bright star in Hazelwood School District. We well, are I know, talking I know that of this excellence. Is an, Ashley, I know this is really incredibly concerning for, for anyone that has kids. That includes the two folks up here on the desk. Uh, really hope for the best possible resolution for you, for your kids, for all the parents, and for your entire community. Thank you for joining us today on Morning in America. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.